Hello champions, we are going to have a look at another brand new character. It is Lana, the Ravishing Russian. She is the chase character for the month. And uh, this is going to be actually my second time recording all of these because I spent uh, most of the evening recording this. And when I went to edit it, I realized I had my mic turned off. So I didn't record any sound. So we got to redo all this because there's no way I'm posting footage that has no sound. You guys, you guys know I got better standards than that. So we're going to do this all over again. <laughs> so you won't really see me have a first impression as far as how she is because I've been doing it for two hours already. So <laughs> let's do this again. Have a look. Her poster here. Coachability at 5,000, received 20% less damage from blue gems. Very limited use. She is reality era. She is not modern era. That's why she is the ravishing Russian and not the current uh, gimmick. Uh, Lincoln gear, Rusev and Lana as link bonus, Russian, Ra and reality era. Only one set of gear. Again, I only get her to do this preview. I don't get to keep her. I'll have to earn him uh, to earn her all months. So first move set we're going to have a look at. It is Lana Crush. Finisher deals 39k damage and swap a 5 by 2 area into yellow gem. The roundhouse kick, 2 MP purple move, deal 11.3k damage and choose 2 column to swap with each other. And the slap, 1 MP yellow move, Deal 7.5k damage and make two random gems into purple gems. Uh, also, uh, this is obviously at four star. If she was five star, instead of the Lana Crush here, I would use the Snap Suplex that I don't have, which is basically the exact same move as the Roundout Kick, except it, it, it is a choose two rows to swap with each other. So you would have a move to swap rows and a move to swap column, also costing two. But I don't have the five star move, so we're going with this. Don't really like any of the other moves as the third one, so I'm using the finisher to help with pins. And basically, because I'll be earning a ton of purple, so may as well get something to use a purple. Trainers for that. Daniel Bryan, so that we make more purple. Set Rollins on Disputed Future, so that our purple gems do a lot more damage. We're going to use Eddie Guerrero Hall of Fame. So again, they make 5% more damage, those purple, along with creating one extra and Hulk to create one extra again. So we're going to be making eight random purple every single turn because it costs one. Uh, also, if there's perks that increase your amount of gem, that's going to be more. So this could definitely be a ton of damage. This is kind of a little like a uh, Kofi tag that creates a bunch of greens every turn, although you don't have any move that boosts the damage of those. You can definitely increase that with, with uh, the proper belts uh, or straps with the right metals on it too. I, I do see some potential in that. We'll see uh, how it fares in practice. All right, so we're going to make our bird hole. We've got the bird hole that we are on right now. There's not much of them. So now we're going to move columns. We're gonna move those two, this way we're gonna have a match. There we go. That let us move again. We're gonna move those two. We're gonna get a purple match. Ideally, when you move, if you can get some yellow match, that's even better because that's what you can use. You can use your. your, 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 uh, your uh, not choose move, but your random move again. Um, don't have any yellow. Move this one to this one. Oh, 
Are you good? much about the finisher because it doesn't do that much damage and it ends my turn so I'd rather create a bunch of purple loot. Put some there. Put some there. Uh, I don't see that I could get a yellow match. Get a purple here. Get a yellow match. Might end my turn. Ah, perfect. I can create more purple here. And it's over. Didn't even One, have to use it. Two, three. Start having both the row and the uh, and the column mover definitely might open up some uh, options as far as moving things around to get that yellow match to be able to make those purple maybe two even three times in the same round maybe if you add that with some metals that do damage that's definitely good so I kind of like this one uh, obviously it's not gonna be a turn two spec probably three four maybe uh but it's definitely viable Let, let's look at uh, something else now all right second move set for lana it's gonna be the lana crush 10 mp purple move finisher deal 39k damage and swap a 5 by 2 area into yellow gem the spear 8 mp blue move deal 25.1k damage and swap a 4x2 random area into purple gems and the lana kick 7 mp yellow move deal 20.7k damage and swap a 3x2 random area into blue gems basically the yellow gems make the blue that you need for the blue move that make the purple you need for the purple move that make the yellow you need for the yellow move although the purple one is a finisher which means that it'll end the turn on that so Pro what the reason I usually don't like these, and I suspect I probably won't this time either, is that those are very, very, very prone at ending your turn every single move. And if it doesn't, and you're at the purple one, it's going to end your turn regardless because it's a finisher. So I suspect this is going to be probably not making enough damage every time to end the match and end your turn every turn instead. If you're lucky, you might be able to do two. There's no way you'll get to do all three. That's what I suspect is going to happen. We'll see what's going to happen. That's what happened when I recorded it the first time and didn't have any sound. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen again. So I came here to start with more yellow Slick Rick to deal more damage. Uh, Hollywood Ogan so that we reload one more on, of any color. And we do have here Velveteen Dream, since most female have a uh, submission. Always useful to have a submission reduced character. So, let's do this. First time I recorded, it worked pretty well, but I did have the issue that uh, I was getting, like, at least one out of two turns I was ending after one move. Not losing much HP for the fight overall though. First turn with perks, maybe later you'll be able to get it first turn. This time, unfortunately, it's not first turn. Uh, let's go with purple for damage. Well, and if she would have had a cascade, that would have been really good because right now we're too close to the edge. This is gonna end our turn for sure. Not, I'm surprised. This way. And a door turn, but at least it did a good, decent amount of damage. Two, three. Okay, really good. 
This is definitely a I did two matches on the first time and we're actually gonna do a second one again. Because the first time I had a very bad match on the first, so I did a second match just to see if the spec was viable. This time this one just went way too good. We're gonna do a second one to see. <laughs> but this is the best of the three match I did so far. I fall. We're gonna try a second time this time around as well. I forgot again to show you the first we got on. She dodged, but it doesn't matter that she did. It's actually good that she dodged because it did no damage, didn't move the bar, and that loaded my my uh, move because I got a, I got a five match. That's pretty much an idea. This one will end our turn. What? Uh, it's the finisher, so that's the only thing we get to do. Pushback that gives us a good chance to use two moves this time. Good, and this one actually has a very good chance of And so This also one, went really good. Two, three, Those two match are definitely much better than the first two matches. You know what, this has been a fairly fast preview and I don't really have a third spec that would work well with her since the other move is 5 star. I'm gonna give this a third try. This match really went really well. I still like the first spec better though. Okay, so what are we gonna get? Good. I was feeling things about behind me, but I didn't see my cap. Three matches were in pretty well. Let me show you the actual perks now. I forgot to do it every match before. <laughs> Alright, so the perks we got 
15% more health, gems do 15% more damage. That's the feud perk. Take 10% less damage from all color moves. That's the normal perks that's always on. And the monthly perks so far only have 10% more health. And all color moves start with one more. So that's pretty much it for Lana. Uh, she's pretty good. Uh, I don't think she is on par with what we usually see as far as chase characters. Especially being a female, we use a much less the female characters because there's a lot less event for them. Now, it definitely doesn't feel like a character that you absolutely need, neither as a character or as a coach for that matter. Uh, she is much better than average, but she's nowhere near top tier character either. I mean, we did very well in those, but we were also facing Naomi. So Naomi is pretty much at the bottom of all the female characters. So how good of a test was it? Can't really test against the others because being a trickster, I mean, couldn't face the technicians or the strikers because of the class advantage. And that's pretty much the only things I had on the road available because everything else was uh, too low of a talent. So that's the only uh, kind of similar match I could have. But yeah, Naomi is not the best character to test against. So that's uh, pretty much it. A uh, little on the low side of what you would expect out of a chase character that you got to work your whole month to get. Uh, but again, I mean, she's not a bad one by any means. She's definitely good, especially the one that you don't need uh, any MP trainers on. That's always very practical. Will definitely be even better at five star. But I mean, I don't expect anyone to like, even those that get her, I don't expect anyone to to be like, that's the one I want to spend my very, very rare tokens on and make five star anytime soon. So. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, leave them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. See ya.